Al-Uzza Al Al was one of the three chief goddesses of Arabian religion in pre-Islamic times and was worshipped by the pre-Islamic Arabs along with Alat and Manat. The Nabataeans equated her with the Greek goddess Aphrodite Urania Roman Venus A stone cube at Taif near Mecca was held sacred as part of her cult. She is mentioned in the Quran Surah 53-19 as being one of the goddesses that people worshipped. Al Uzza, like Hubal, was called upon for protection by the pre Islamic Quraysh. In 624, at the battle called Uhud, the war cry of the Quraishites was, O people of Uzza, people of Hubal. Al Uzza also later appears in Ibn Ishaq's account of the alleged Satanic verses. The temple dedicated to Al Uzza and the statue itself was destroyed by Khalid ibn al Walid in Nakhla in 630 AD. Destruction of Temple Shortly after the conquest of Mecca, Muhammad began aiming at eliminating the last idols reminiscent of pre-Islamic practices. He sent Khalid ibn al-Walid during Ramadan 630 AD to a place called Nakhla, where the goddess al-Uzza was worshipped by the tribes of Quraysh and Kinana. The shrine's custodians were from Banu Shaban. Al-Uzza was considered the most important goddess in the region. Khalid set out with 30 horsemen to destroy the shrine. It appears that there were two idols of al uzza one real and one fake. Khalid first located the fake and destroyed it, then returned to the Prophet to report that he had fulfilled his mission. Did you see anything unusual? Asked the Prophet. No, replied Khalid. Then you have not destroyed al uzza said the Prophet. Go again. Angry at the mistake that he had made, Khalid once again rode to Nakhla, and this time he found the real temple of al uzza The custodian of the temple of al uzza had fled for his life, but before forsaking his goddess he had hung a sword around her neck in the hope that she might be able to defend herself. As Khalid entered the temple, he was faced by an unusual naked dark woman who stood in his way and wailed. Khalid and his men drew their sword and attacked that woman but that woman fought bravely and cut nine of Khalid's men and then Khalid attacked that woman from behind and after Khalid and his men overpowered that woman and the woman was cut in two. He then smashed the idol, and returning to Mecca, gave the Prophet an account of what he had seen and done. Then the Prophet said, Yes, that was al uzza and never again shall she be worshipped in your land. Cult of al uzza According to the Book of Idols Kitab al by Hisham ibn al-Kalbi, over her an Arab built a house called Bus in which the people used to receive oracular communications. The Arabs as well as the Quraysh used to name their children, Abdu al uzza Furthermore, al uzza was the greatest idol among the Quraysh. They used to journey to her, offer gifts unto her, and seek her favors through sacrifice. The Quraysh used to circumambulate the Kaaba and say, By al Lot and al Uzza, and al Manat, the third idol besides. Verily they are al Gharani, whose intercession is to be sought. This last phrase is said to be the source of the alleged satanic verses. The Arabic term is translated as, Most exalted females, by Ferris in the Book of Idols, but he annotates this much argued term in a footnote as, Lit. Numidian cranes. Each of the three goddesses had a separate shrine near Mecca. The most prominent Arabian shrine of al uzza was at a place called Nakhla near Qadayid, east of Mecca towards at Taif. Three trees were sacred to her there, according to a narration through al-Anazi Abu Ali in the Kitab al-Asnam. She was the lady Yutzayan to whom a South Arabian offered a golden image on behalf of his sick daughter, Amat Yutzayan, the maid of Yutzayan. Abdu el uzza slave of the mightiest one was a favorite proper name during the advent of Islam. The name al-Uzza appears as an emblem of beauty in late pagan Arabic poetry quoted by Ibn al-Kalbi, and oaths were sworn by her. Susan Krona suggests that the identities of al-Uzza and al-Lat were fused in Central Arabia uniquely, on the authority of Abdu el la ibn Abbas, at Tabari derived al-Uzza from al-Aziz, the mighty, one of the ninety-nine, beautiful names of Allah in his commentary on Quran 7-180. Uzza the Garden 
According to Easton's Bible Dictionary, Uzzah was a garden in which Manasseh and Ammon were buried 2 Kings 21 verses 18, 26. It was probably near the king's palace in Jerusalem, or may have formed part of the palace grounds. Manasseh may probably have acquired it from someone of this name. Another view is that these kings were culpable of idolatry and drew the attention of Ezekiel. As an angel In Judaic and Christian lore, Uzzah has been also used as an alternative name for the angel Metatron in the Sefer HaHeshek. More commonly he is referred to as either the Seraph Semyaza or as one of the three guardian angels of Egypt Rahab, Mastima, and Duma that harried the Jews during the Exodus. As Semyaza in legend he is the Seraph tempted by Ishtahar into revealing the explicit name of God and was thus burned alive and hung head down between heaven and earth as the constellation Orion. In the third book of Enoch and in the Zohar he is one of the fallen angels punished for cohabiting with human women and fathering the Anakim. Uzzah is also identified with Abezi Thibet, father devoid of counsel, who in early Jewish lore is also used as another name for Samael and Mastima referring to a powerful spirit who shared princedom of Egypt with Rahab and opposed Moses to eventually drown in the Red Sea. See also Manat References Topic. Bibliography Ambrose, Arne A. 2004. A Concise Dictionary of Quranic Arabic. Wiesbaden, Reichert Verlag. ISBN 978-3-89500-400-1. Burton, John The Collection of the Quran The Collection and Composition of the Quran in the Lifetime of Muhammad. Cambridge University Press. Davidson, Gustav 1967. A Dictionary of Angels, Including the Fallen Angels. Scroll House. ISBN 978-0-02-907052-9. Finnegan, Jack 1952. The Archaeology of World Religions. Princeton University Press. pp. 482-485, 492. Hitty, Philip K. 1937. History of the Arabs. Ibn al-Kalbi, Hisham The Book of Idols, being a translation from the Arabic of the Kitab al-Asnam. Translation and commentary by Nabi Amin Faris. Princeton University Press. LCCN 52006741, Kitab al-Asnam in the original Arabic Peters, F. E. The Hajj, The Muslim Pilgrimage to Mecca and the Holy Places. Princeton University Press al Hashim, 1993. Early Arab Icons, Literary and Archaeological Evidence for the Cult of Religious Images in Pre-Islamic Arabia PhD thesis. University of Iowa. Archived from the original on 20 January 2005. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Easton, Matthew George 1897. Article name needed. Easton's Bible Dictionary, New and Revised Ed. T. Nelson and Sons. Topic. External links. Those are the high flying claims. A Muslim site on satanic verses story. Nabatine pantheon including Al Uzza. Quotes concerning Al Uzza from Hammond and Hitti.